I'm Dr. Sunil Richardson and I'm a craniofacial surgeon. So this young girl has come now because she had a fall while in the school playing and she's hit her nose. You can see that from the small scar there. This happened a couple of days ago. Um, after the fall she had bleeding through the nose and her parents got her to us just today because she was told by a local doctor that everything was okay. But what was the reality? It wasn't that okay. So we took a CT scan and we found that the nasal bone on the right side is commutative. I'm not going to touch her because it hurts her. It's commutative. You can see very clearly that the shape of the nasal, nasal dorsum is not a straight line. There's a little bit deviation, a little bulbous thing there. Now, what's the best modus operandi for someone like this? What I like to do is when it's a small displaced fracture, even if it's this minimal, it's better to just put a splint. So we would do an internal and an external splinting. The internal splint would stay for a few days and also the external splint. We like to use a thermoplastic splint for the external and some kind of a packing for the nasal internal splinting. She would not need anything else and since she's a young girl, we're going to do this under general anesthesia. It's going to be a super quick one, like about 30 minutes. It's night here because they unfortunately came and they only this afternoon. But typically these are daycare cases. That is, they would come in the morning and we would send them home by evening. But in your case, they would stay over tonight and I will probably see her tomorrow morning and then everything's okay, she goes home. So the model of the message story is even if there be a very small laser bone fractures, uh, minimally displaced, it's better to fix it so that you don't have a deformity later on. And this is much, much easier than having to wait and do an extensive rhinoplasty later. On. Thank you. I had a, an accident. So just doing a reduction of the nasal bone fracture. The fractures here, there are a few fragments. I just like to use this instrument for cases like this. It's very simple. So patient is under general anesthesia. And you just have to reduce it. This is three days old fracture. And you see that? That's it. So the fracture is reduced. Now give me the packing. What this instrument does is it's just a BP handle. You could use number three or number four. You go inside and just move it at the place where the fracture is. It's a comminuted fracture. You can feel it reduced. So the CD showed fractures here. The four small pieces there. On the other side is normal, so you can feel with the pulp of the fingers and once it's reduced, it's done. Now to make sure it stays in that place, uh, do what's the internal splinting or nasal packing will not need a lot of quantity, but we will just push this and support the fracture segment. Okay. Cut please. So now what happens, we have reduced the fracture and we've given it the support from inside the nose. This is called as internal splinting. So now that's not enough because you would have also want to make sure that it's splinted from outside. So that's called as a external splinting. And we use a thermosplastic splint material. Cold water in the room here. Yeah. So this is a splint I'm going to use, the thermoplastic material so it sets when you put cold water. It doesn't necessarily have to be that big, you can also reduce the size, but it's just placed on top, adapted to the shape of the nose and then we put some cold water. Put some water please. Okay, that's it. Okay. So it will turn from translucent to white and more opaque that shows that it's fully set okay some suction we also trim the excess here later on to make it more comfortable for the patient once the splint we, we used to use a plaster of Paris years before this is much easier it's quicker and that's the same job Thank you.